There he is. There he is. It's an elk. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? James and Cuervo from Junkyard Fox. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, good sir. We are beating the summer heat. We have escaped the deserts of West Texas and come up here to beautiful Cloudcroft, New Mexico, where it is 20 degrees cooler. We have shade from trees and we have some cold beer. So you know the deal. We're going to spend an overnighter out here, cook some good food, relax, and have a good time. So thank you for joining us. Cheers, buddy. Let's get to it. So what I'm, what I'm doing is I'm going to burn a little sage so I can ask, sorry, so I can cleanse the area and also ask permission for the land spirits to let us stay here and also just to open a welcoming presence, or sorry, to have a welcoming presence for them to come and visit us at night and stuff like that. So, here we go. Here we go. We thank you for allowing us a safe trip here and a safe return. All right, folks, so our tents have been set up. We are ready to just unwind now, get the fire going before the sun sets. Now, we do have some firewood here that the previous camper left us, which was really awesome of them. So that's a good amount. That's going to save us some time. Of course, I did bring me some firewood as well, just in case we're running late. Now, all we got to do is collect a tinder bundle and some kindling so we can get this fire going. And we're going to be having some kebabs for dinner. So time to head out there and gather some fuel. We got some pine pitch here. Get a 
rock. Okay, so let's get this fire going so we can start cooking up dinner. Now, we are going the ferro rod method. I am using this new knife that we just recently got, the Worked Up Gear Forester Knife by Aurora Borealis Knives. Very nice little bushcraft knife, Puko style. So let's do this, test out that spine. There we go. Easy. And then of course we do have some pine pitch since we are surrounded by pine. This thing is gonna just burn. Get that fire going. All right, so testing out this Scandi, the Forester knife, to get some nice little tomato slices. For a Scandi, it's not bad. Now for some mushrooms. Not bad for being a scanning knife. This one's not that bad for food work. smoked sausage all right kebab time
deeper. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes. It is time. These should be ready. can't forget to stay hydrated and beat the heat well folks it is chow time we let these guys cool off so moment of truth we have not made some kebabs in a couple of years already so yeah we got mushrooms sausage onion bell peppers shrimp spicy sausage man tomatoes Give that a shot. Very good. It's funny how onion and tomatoes sweeten as they're grilled. They give it a little sweet flavor, huh? Very easy to make meal out during summertime. Of course, during summertime, it's very hot. So you don't want to make something like stew or something that's just going to be just very hot in the campsite so something like this doesn't take too long the longest thing you really got to realize is uh make sure the shrimp is cooked other than that everything else by itself just you know it's it's easy it's quick mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So we just finished eating. Those kebabs were delicious. That is such an easy recipe to do, especially if you have kids and you're taking them camping because it's very fun to just make your own, you know, whatever ingredients you want to add in there or leave out. And it doesn't take too long to cook. Basically, you just got to make sure the shrimp is fully cooked. Everything else other than that just needs to be just blackened, just roasted over the flames. Other than that, um, we're just enjoying ourselves having a cold beer. It is now about 68 degrees, which is such a drastic change from what we're used to. Uh, we're experiencing a heat wave down in West Texas. Today was the 40th consecutive day where we have been over 100 degrees. And I'm not talking just hitting 100. We're hitting 110, 108, 106. And it's brutal. It's just, you know, just going outside to check your mail. It is just really hot outside. Very uncomfortable. Not only for us, but... Um, going out filming in the desert is just not fun at all. Last week we're filming a knife review and the damn phone kept overheating of the camera. So we just kept having to give it some breaks so it can cool off because it's messing with our filming equipment. And, uh, yeah, we're overdue for the monsoon season. We're overdue for the rains. They haven't come yet, sadly. So we're just still having to deal with those brutal temperatures. So we're so happy to get out up here to the mountains where it's nice and cool. Uh, when we got here, when we first got here about two hours ago, we checked the weather and it was barely 81 degrees here. And we check El Paso, Texas, our hometown. It is 101. 
So, I mean, the drastic change is noticeable. So, yeah, good times getting the fire stoked now because it is getting a little chilly. Once again, something we haven't felt in a long time. So, cheers, everyone. So Cuervo and I were having a couple of beers around the campfire, relaxing, when down here at the bottom of this ridge, we can hear something moving, something large, just moving through the foliage. So we started shining our lights and we can't quite see it, but it, it moved back and forth, like maybe there's a game trail down there. And uh, yeah, we're trying to see what it is, possibly a deer, but it's, it sounds pretty big. Nothing. Wait. There he is. There he is. It's an elk. Well, that's about it for us. It was a very calm night. Not a lot of filming. Not a lot happened, to be honest. We got here pretty tired. We made our food, had a couple of beers, uh, had a little scare from an elk, and that's about it, honestly. I think the majority of the action is going to place, take place tomorrow when we're having breakfast. So thank you for joining us. We are very tired. Uh, very nice and relaxing to get out here. Um, I mean, my God, it is fresh out here. We're to the point where I had to raise my sleeves because it got chilly and that is such a welcome feeling after cooking for like 40 days already so thank you so much for joining us and we will see you guys tomorrow morning for breakfast see you then
I'll just let it simmer for a minute. Cheers, brother. Oh, yeah. And shameless plug to our merch store if you want a enamel mug with different designs or this, what do you call this, a thermos? Uh, tumbler. A tumbler with our copy by the campfire design. So go ahead and uh, go buy them. Hurry right now. Breakfast time, Let's make some sandwiches. There's some delicious bread, by the way. Good old classic bologna. Some cheese. and avocado.
Well, it's chow time, so we have a simple sandwich. We got Doritos. I did add tomatoes to mine, Monterey Jack cheese, bologna, avocado, a couple of spices, pickles, mayo, mustard, and some coffee. Good times. Mm-hmm. So we just finished eating our sandwiches. You know, it, it's funny how sandwiches is such a simplistic, basic food, but we never really make them out here. It's extremely rare. Um, part of it has to do with filming because it's just not as cinematic, as enticing as watching a, a, a steak sizzling over a campfire. You know, you want to make a good entertaining video. So, uh, you know, a sandwich is bottom on the list. But in terms of reality, in terms of just, you know, uh, just being pragmatic and, and practical, uh, sandwiches are extremely easy to make once again on a hot day such as today uh, even though we're not you know west texas hot it's still pretty warm right now so to get a fire going and that kind of stuff it's just it just seems very, uh, we're just too lazy for it so a sandwich is very simple to make it's it's like the kebabs from yesterday it's fun to to make them out here and everyone has their own taste what they want to add or subtract for example cuervo was not in the mood for tomatoes he's not really a tomato guy so he didn't add that to his sandwich but you know stuff like that so it was a very delicious little breakfast of course we are also finishing up our coffee as well to get some energy now i do want to talk about the knife that i am using for this adventure this is the worked up gear forester made in conjunction with aurora borealis knives this is a very traditional type of puko style blade with that coke bottle shaped handle scandinavian grind drop point 90 degree spine you know nothing outside of the ordinary to be honest it's very simplistic but it's i'm liking it so far it's very comfortable as you saw yesterday and today you know it, it's pretty good for a slicer scandinavian got scandinavian grinds just generally are not very good with slicing and that's why generally i don't prefer them because I, I'm usually doing a lot more cooking and, and fish gutting and stuff like that than I am carving bow drill sets and whatever. So that's why generally scanning grinds are not my first choice. But this one has done a great job when it comes to food prep, even at my house. And other than that, I don't have a lot of experience with it so far. I have carved a figure four deadfall with it at home, and it's done a great job. So be on the lookout. We will be testing this knife and reviewing it in the next couple of months. But so far... I gotta say, I, I'm, I'm liking it. Well, folks, we wish we could remain, but it's just a visit. So we have already packed on all our gear back onto the truck. We filmed a separate video, a Q&A, that will probably be released prior this camping video. And that's about it. Start Time to start making our drive back on home. So thank you for joining us. As always, we appreciate all the love, the support. I know this video is going to be a little bit short, a little bit more sparse than our usual camping adventure. But we just needed a little bit of a break from that burning hot West Texas sun. And hopefully in about a week, Week, we will finally have our monsoon storm seasons come to the West Texas and we can finally get out back to the desert and enjoy ourselves without risking hyperthermia or heat stroke. So with that being said, guys, thank you for joining us. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you have any questions, comments, suggestions. If you are new here, please subscribe. We are so close to hitting 100,000 subscribers. So hoping to get that taken care of by this year. And with that being said, we'll see you guys next week with another video. Now go outside and get your boots dirty. Mm -hmm.